Just like Google did in the past, Microsoft now also requires you to implement their consent mode if you are running Microsoft ads in certain regions. In this video, I will explain how to set this up with Google Tag Manager. Currently, consent mode is required if you advertise in the European Economic Area, UK or Switzerland. But who knows, this list might change in the future. So make sure that you refer to Microsoft documentation as well. Also, it's important to note that Microsoft consent mode and Google consent mode are different things. If you already have Google consent mode implemented and you're running Microsoft ads, then you will also need to configure their consent mode. First, let me explain a general idea of how consent mode works with Microsoft tags. This is their documentation and they say that when a visitor lands on your website for the first time, then you should also set the consent state. The default consent state of ad storage should be denied. In this documentation, Microsoft is saying that first you should fire the Microsoft UET tag and then you should set the consent. But based on what I've tried, it works either way. You can set the consent state before the Microsoft tag or after, it will work nevertheless. So here when the visitor will land on the site, we will need to set the ad storage to denied. And then if consent is given, we will need to send an update command where ad storage becomes granted. So the question is, how can we do this in Google Tag Manager? The answer depends on what kind of consent management platform are you using? Because some of them have built in integration with the UET consent mode. The one that I have spotted is CookieBot. You will not need to configure any settings in your CookieBot tag or in your CookieBot snippet if you have installed it directly on your website. However, based on my tests, I noticed that personally, I would still need to add something additional to the setup. So let me show you how this works. Here I have a demo website and on the site, I have installed CookieBot. Right now, I have not given any consent. In Google Tag Manager, the Microsoft UET tag is already firing. It is set to fire on initialization. Now, if I go to the website, I still have not given consent. I open developer tools. So I click three dots, more tools, developer tools, and then I go to network and enter Bing in the search field and then refresh the page, we can check what kind of data was sent to Microsoft already. So I click here and if consent mode was implemented properly by out of the box, then we would have a parameter called ASC and its value would be D. D means denied. But in this request, I don't see any ASC parameter. That's why in my opinion, we will still need to set the default state as denied. However, if I give consent, so I click allow all, the Microsoft tag will automatically resend a request to Google Analytics. That request will be related to consent. Its state is updated and now we have ASC, which is G. G means granted, or in other words, the consent was given. So as you can see here, we have the consent, but in the first request, we did not have the consent state. That's why personally, if I am dealing with Microsoft tags and CookieBot, I always set the default denied consent for the consent mode. This could be done in Google Tag Manager by going to templates. Then in the tag templates section, click search gallery. And then in the search field, enter Microsoft. And here we have Microsoft UET consent. Click add to workspace, add. And then let's go to tags, new tag configuration, then Microsoft UET consent mode, default. And then we can set to denied. Then we will set this tag to fire on consent initialization all pages. And then we can name this tag, for example, Microsoft consent mode default. Save the tag, then I will go back to the website and I will delete the cookie bot cookies in order to see that cookie consent pop up again. So I will go to application, cookies, my domain, and then I delete cookie consent cookie and I can refresh to check it and the pop-up appeared again. Now let's go back to Google Tag Manager and I will refresh the preview mode because I just added the default consent state. When the preview mode is reloaded, I will go back to the network tab of the developer tools and I will see the request, actually two of them. One of them is consent, its status is denied. Then we have the page view 
or actually page load, which was initiated by the UET tag, and its state is also denied. Now, if I click allow all, or I select just marketing and then allow selection, but in general, I give consent to marketing, so I will click that, another request, which is consent, will be sent, and its ASC value will be G, which means granted. So when it comes to consent mode, this is pretty much it if you want to implement it for your Microsoft tags. But if you're familiar with Google consent mode, there are two types, basic and advanced. Advanced means that if consent is not given, the data is still sent, but with some limitations. So the same is happening here. We are still sending data even if consent was not given. If you want to be more compliant and you want to send the data only when consent is given, then you can add additional limitations to the UET tag so that it fires only when consent is given. So I will still keep the default denied, but I will need to change the trigger of the Microsoft UET tag because right now it fires on initialization regardless of consent preferences. But if I go to the preview mode, here CookieBot pushes additional events related to consent. So when consent state is updated or basically it is set somewhere in the data layer, then we get this cookie consent update event. And there's also another event, which is cookie consent marketing. So technically you could just set the Microsoft UET tag to fire every time this event fires because CookieBot on each page view, when marketing consent is given, will initiate this event. When it comes to consent management, there are many ways to achieve the result. Technically, you could even fire the tag on this event, but then you would need to additionally use a variable that checks the consent state. So if you want to keep things simpler, you could just fire the Microsoft tag right here on cookie consent marketing. If you're using a different cookie consent platform, then you might need to use a different event as a trigger. Anyway, in my case, I have this, so I will copy it. Then I will go to Google Tag Manager, Triggers, then New, Trigger Configuration, and then Custom Event. Here I enter the name of the event and I will name the trigger. Finally, let's save this. And then I will go to Tags, Microsoft UET, and then instead of Initialization, I will remove it and I will select the Cookie Consent Marketing. Let's click Save. Now let's go to the website. First, I will delete the consent cookie here so that the next time I will see the cookie consent pop up again. Now I will reload the page. And here I see the consent pop up. I also will go to network tab. So far, no Bing requests were sent because our tag still hasn't fired. The Microsoft UT tag is in the tags not fired section. So this is working as expected so far. Now I will click allow all and the tag fired on cookie consent marketing. And in the network tab, we will see the requests which are consent default denied, then consent update granted, and then our page load, which is also granted. Keep in mind that in case of CookieBot, they are automatically sending the update command to Microsoft consent mode but maybe you're using a cookie consent pop-up that does not natively integrate with Microsoft consent mode. So let's see what we need to do then. Here I have a different example. Right now I'm using Cookie Hub, which is another consent management platform. Right now when I'm recording this video, they do not have a built-in integration with Microsoft consent mode. That's why we will need to configure more things. Just like it was with the cookie bot, we will need to set the default consent state. Let's do that by clicking new tag configuration, then Microsoft UET consent mode, default command, default status of ad storage is denied. And then we will set this on consent initialization. Let's name this tag and hit save. Then I will enable the preview mode just to see what kind of information does Cookie Hub push to the data layer when I'm interacting with its pop-up. So I will click preview. This will refresh the preview mode. Right now we have these events. This is the pop-up. Now let me click allow all cookies. And here I get a bunch of different events. For example, Cookie Hub marketing. There's also Cookie Hub consent update. So every time the consent state is updated, we could technically fire another consent mode tag to inform what is the current status of the consent. So let's use this event, we will create it as a trigger. 
I will go to Google Tag Manager Triggers section, then New, Trigger Configuration, Custom Event, and paste that event. Then let's name the trigger, save it, and then let's go to Tags because we will need to create a new tag for the update command. Let's click New, Tag Configuration, Let's select the tag template, update command, and we can dynamically fetch the consent status related to marketing. Because in the data layer, if we go here and I go to the data layer, I will see cookie hub marketing true. And if you're using a different consent management platform, then maybe you will have a different variable. But I have this one, so I will copy it, and then I will use a variable in this field. I don't have it yet, so I will create a new variable its type will be data layer variable, and this is the name that I want to access. Here in the data layer, this is the event name that I will access with this variable. However, there's one thing, the value here is true or false, but I need granted or denied. That's why we will need to format values. If this variable's value is true, then we want to get granted, otherwise we want to get denied. Also, if such variable does not exist, we also want it to be denied like this. And then let's name the variable and save it. This tag should fire when consent is updated on a page. So in the triggering, I will select cookie hub consent update, and then I will name this tag. Click save. Then let's refresh and check if this is working. But before I do that, first I will delete the cookie hub cookie so that the cookie consent pop-up appears. And now I refresh the preview mode. All right, the preview mode is connected. Now, if I go to the network and I have Bing entered here, I will have several requests. The first one is related to consent, default, it's denied, then we have page load, which is also denied because I still have not given consent. And here we have one more consent update and it's still denied. The reason why this happens is because at least with CookieBot, if consent is not yet given, we still get the cookie consent update. I mean, cookie hub consent update event. But technically this is not a problem because we can send multiple update commands to the consent mode. Now, if I click allow all cookies, that update event will happen again, the tag will fire again, and this time we will have one more request. It will be consent, update, and granted. Now, if I go to the next page, let's say here, then I will get default, which is denied, then page view, which is still denied, but after that, we have cookie consent update granted. So what this means is that Microsoft will still take all this information into account and will process it properly. But just like it was with the previous example with CookieBot, our requests were still firing when consent was not given in the very beginning. I mean, the cookie consent pop-up appears, but the Microsoft tag still fires. If you don't want that to happen, then you could limit the trigger of the UET tag. Right now it just fires on initialization regardless of consent, but you could fire it only when marketing consent is given. Or in other words, this event right here happens, which is cookie hub marketing. So I will copy this. Then I go to Google Tag Manager, triggers, then new trigger configuration, custom event, and I will create this trigger. Then let's click save. And let's go to tags, Microsoft UET. And instead of initialization, I will add the marketing trigger and click save. Now I will delete the cookie and test again what is happening. Let's click preview to refresh the preview mode. This is the pop-up. I still haven't given consent to marketing. And if I click here, you will see that my UET tag still has not fired because I still have not given consent to marketing. Now, if I go back to the website, click allow all cookies, then the tag fires. And let's go to network tab to see what kind of request did we have. First, we had consent default, which is denied. Then we have consent update denied because that's how Cookie Hub works. We get at the very first page view one consent update and then another consent update when we actually interact with the pop-up. But this is not a problem. We have denied here. Then we have another update, which is granted. And then we have page load, which is also granted. 
So these were the approaches of how can you configure consent mode with Google Tag Manager. First, I would suggest checking if your consent management platform offers some built-in integration because that will affect if you need to create default or update commands, and I mean update tags in your container because maybe your particular consent management platform does not require this because they handle this automatically. But if your consent management platform does not offer a built-in consent mode integration, and I mean Microsoft consent mode integration, then you will need to create both of these tags. It's also very important to understand that Microsoft's consent mode and Google consent mode, they are two different consent modes. If you have Google consent mode implemented, then that does not mean that out of the box, it will also work with Microsoft consent mode. And that's how you can configure Microsoft consent mode with Google Tag Manager. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.